Welcome back to the channel people, once again I am so excited the boys and girls from Ace Tech has sent me a box with not just one new product, not just two new products, not just, I tell you what, let me just get it open. This is going to be epic and once again I was asked not to do the reveal or do the unboxing before now. Oh, you don't know how difficult that was. <laughs> the temptation. Oh, okay. The temptation was real. And if you're wondering why that's there, that's a huge, huge clue. Look at the size of this. Okay, let's put that there. Oh, so that's Vic, I think. Vic, yeah? This is Thor. And this is Bifrost. I'd like to think it is Bifrost or Bifrost. I'm gonna go with Bifrost. <laughs> so here it is, people. Ace Tech has gone full steam ahead with some new products right there. You got your Thor, you got your Vic, you got your Bifrost. Actually, I think you'll find it's Bifrost. Now, some of you may be thinking, hold on, isn't that the Raider? You would be forgiven for thinking so, but no, it's not. It really isn't. And I feel any second now, there's going to be a clue as to why this is not the Raider. Oh, what's that? Oh, hell no. Oh, no. This can't be real. Oh, hell no. So the first thing I'm going to do is open this little bad boy. Oh, actually, let's have a quick look on the info on the back. And there you go, the box gives it away. Brilliant. This bad boy right here, this is why this is not the radar. 11 multicolour flame modes. Oh my gosh. And here it is. <laughs> and straight away you can see why this could never be the radar because it's physically circumference wise a different size there look get your eyeballs around that in fact let me show you the difference in size between that and the radar there you go look lovely Right, so what else do we get with this little frosty thing? Well, you get a USB cable and yes, 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 Ace Tech have listened. Now, if you've watched all my other unboxings for these chasers, yeah, I keep saying, oh, please stop using micro, micro USB. Please move to USB-C, that's the industry standard now. And everybody's got a USB-C cable. Well, nearly everybody. And look, people, they've listened. USB-C, yes sir. <laughs> you also get an Allen key. Now, if you're wondering what's with the Allen key, well, because you also get a little adapter and that's cool. So that means you can put this little bad boy on an array of Airsoft products because that will enable you to fit anything that has an M11 counterclockwise barrel. Nice. And of course, you get an instruction manual. And if you look at this manual right here, look at all the different colors it can do. Absolutely loving that it can do. Red light. And green light. <laughs> as well as orange, yellow, blue, pink, and purple. Now, right, let's have a quick look, see? All right, let me show you this bit first. There's your 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this off just to show you where you charge it up and again I'm so excited USB-C come on. Now if you look closely you will see unlike its predecessors there are two buttons. One button is for the flame that's that bad boy right there and this one is the one that you're more familiar with right here look that one is your on and off and your tracer modes. Now here is the fantastic thing again about this particular model. This trace unit outdoes every other tracer unit ever produced by Ace Tech. I said it and I'm gonna stick by it. Why do I say it? 
because not only can you use green tracer BBs in this bad boy, you can use normal BBs in this bad boy. And guess what? Although you can't use red tracer BBs, if you use normal BBs, because this bad boy can be switched from red to orange, to yellow, to green, to blue, to pink, to purple, not only is that the flame effect, okay, the light, it will light up normal standard BBs to any of those colours I just met. Are you listening to me? To any of those colours I just mentioned. Look, it's got it here. The flame LED flashes the colour of the mode switch to, okay? Okay, so this is the bit. With standard BBs on an AEG, the flame LED renders the flame with whatever colour you put it on, yeah? And emblaze the track into a beam. What? So the way I translate that is that when you're using a standard BB, it will light this up momentarily. So you're getting a beam of colour on whichever colour you choose. Is, is that real? Do you know what? There's only one way to find out. I'm going to charge this bad boy up and I'll be right back. Man, who's going to clean all this up? Okay, we're all charged up. Oh, and by the way, I got in contact with Ace Tech and that is pronounced B-Frost. Not Bifrost, B-Frost. And this bad boy, Vic. And of course, we all know how to pronounce that top one right there. Come on. Oh, I guess it only works for him then. Yes. <laughs> four. Or if you're normal, just say four. Right, oh, by the way, there you go. Just in case you need to use the B-Frost on something else that doesn't have that M14 thread, you can put this adapter on and you just pop the Allen key through so you can tighten or loosen. So, as I said, fully charged up. Let me uh, turn this bad boy on. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. did you see that? Anyway, right here in that mag are normal BBs. In that bottle are tracer BBs, okay? And I'm gonna prove it to you right now. So let me turn this on. The, the batteries are quite low on this bad boy, but look, I'm shining it right now on the BBs in the mag. And I'm also now shining it on the BBs in the bottle, okay? I am now going to turn off the lights. Stand by to stand by. Look, you can see these bad boys are glowing already, yet the BBs in the mag are not. They're standard BBs. I've got my eye protection on. Now remember, this does work as a standard tracer too. So it will light up your green BBs and it will do that amazing flash from there. Oh, did you see that? I'm just gonna flip that switch. There's a little button that I showed you earlier on where each press of the button will change it to a different color. What you saw just there was it's sort of RGB mode, sort of all the colors or a few, whatever. But anyway, Hold on. Right, ready? Check this. <laughs> now, you will see this a lot better when I show you it on an AEG, because obviously with the gas one, that sort of fume you get from the gas is giving that smoke effect. On the AEG, you won't get that, so you will truly see how good this is with normal BBs on an AEG. Right, so let me show you all the different colour modes. So right there you've got red. That, now, maybe the colours might look slightly different because you're watching it on your screen, but that's red. If I press it again, it should be orange. Again, should be yellow. Then green. Then blue. Then pink. Then purple. RGB. Rainbow. Dynamic Rainbow Demo 
and the final press will turn that all off so it's just tracer mode i've pressed that button again i'm just shortening the sequences here just to show you and now it's going to do blue <laughs> So you get the point, you can go through all the different colours and whatever colour you change it to, it will light up standard normal BBs to that colour, but I'm never ever ever saying it's going to be exactly the same as a proper tracer BB, okay, that's totally different. Okay, so what I've done now to demonstrate the many functions of this bad boy, the B-Frost, um, I've put it in sniper mode, you heard me, sniper mode, so what that means is, Obviously, if your part in a game of Airsoft is Sniper, the last thing you want is constant lit up BBs. So, what it will do is the first one that comes out of here will be lit up. The subsequent two, I said it, subsequent, okay, the following two won't be lit up. So it's almost like you're, 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 you're hidden, very discreet. So here we go, here's the demonstration. That one lit up, okay? Now the next two or three, I think, it might be two, won't light up. Boom, boom. The next one, nothing. So there you go. I guarantee the next one will light up. There you go. And then the next three, as it's just demonstrated, nothing. Right, now if you're thinking, yeah, it's all very good with all that fancy smancy stuff, what about standard tracer mode? Well, I'll give you standard tracer mode. All you have to do is deactivate the flame and then obviously press the mode button for whatever mode you want it to be in and you've got your standard tracer. Come on now. Actually, that was pretty decent considering it's not even dark in here. All I've done is turned off the studio lights and you've got natural daylight flooding in from behind me and yet it's still quite bright. Decent. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> that bad boy goes on this bad boy. Oh, and what have we got here then? <clears throat> Sorry. What have we got here? This is the Vic. That also goes on this bad boy. Now, if you're wondering why is there an instruction manual for the B-Frost inside of the Thor box? Well, because my airsoft friends look... Oh, they, this looks so cool and tactical at the same time. This bad boy is an awesome looking tracer unit for the Chris Vector. And look, it also comes with a USB-C charging cable. Thank you again, Ace Tech, for listening to your boy's request. And I'm sure many other people's requests too. <laughs> now, if you look closely at this unit, not only does it look awesome, it's full metal. And if you look at the front, there's your B-Frost tracer unit. Nice. And by the way, this is the other end of it. And as you can see, there's no thread because there doesn't need to be a thread. I will show you how easy it is in a moment. It's one of those QD situations. But first of all, let me also show you how easy it is you can charge up your units. And what I do like about it, the B-Frost, and this Thor unit itself, is how nicely suspended, look, it's like some sort of sus and what I do like this Thor unit with the B-Frost in there, look, this is it right here. It's got a nice sort of springy look. It's almost like a suspension. And if you press it hard enough, it will pop out. <laughs> That's just immature and childish if I was to just press it hard enough so that it flies out. I wouldn't do anything like that. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I trust that you're more sensible than me. So yeah, you don't do that. Um, so yeah, here it is. Here's your B-Frost. And as per normal, as I've shown you already, take the cap off and you charge it up there. Okay, so we just uh, pop that back in. And Bob's your uncle. Now, if you look on the base of the unit, you'll see that button right there. That's your quick release, people. Okay, ready for this? 
Oh my gosh, it's that simple. And when you're ready to whip it off, press the button. And once again, you know who your uncle is. Right, I've got tracer BBs in here. I just want to show you as an actual tracer unit for your Chris. It's awesome. Now remember, all I've done is turned off the studio lights. I've still got natural daylight flooding in from behind me, okay? Full fun switch. Yeah, baby. Right, so right now I've got it on standard tracer mode with a bit of an orange flash, you know, the flame mode. But do remember, this is the difference between an AEG and a gas uh, airsoft product. With the gas one, because of the little bit of gas you get out the front, it gives that effect of mistiness and smoke. You're not gonna get that with AEG, you're simply gonna get the flash of the orange and the Tracer BB. Right, so I've just made it just a little bit more darker so you can appreciate this a bit more. Come on! Yeah, baby, yeah, baby! Right, I've switched the color mode to green and remember once again, these are not Tracer BBs. These are normal standard white BBs. Check this people. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna stop today's video. There'll be a part two where I will go more in depth into the Thor and then we'll have a look at the Vic too. So just to recap, the B-Frost is also inside the Thor. And the B-Frost, let me tell you again, you can use normal BBs, not Tracer BBs, and you can switch it to any of those multiple colors that I mentioned, and it will light that BB up in that color, okay? Not like a Tracer, not as bright, and not as far. I'll see you in part two to explain more. But for now, thanks for watching. As always, thank you to everyone that's been patient with me. Um, I really can't go into details. Things, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll just see you next time, yeah? Thanks for watching. <laughs>